This is a question about TV. So we have a television um, picture. And we have actually 30 pictures, 30 frames being transmitted every second. And each frame consists of 300,000 dots, pixels. And each pixel has 10 possible gray levels. So it's not a very good quality picture. And we know that the signal to noise ratio of the uh, channel is 30 decibels. And the question is, what's the minimum bandwidth? So we'll be using the Shannon Hartley law. C is equal to B log two one plus the signal to noise ratio. So what we're trying to find is B. So let's see what we're given. Let's start with the signal to noise ratio. That's the easy one. So the 30 decibels, that's actually 10 log to the base 10 of the signal to noise ratio. So the actual signal to noise ratio, the ratio of mean square powers is actually 10 to the power 30 divided by 10. So that's just a thousand. So that goes in there. Now we can, if you think of the television picture as having, as being a matrix of dots, and each one of these dots, each one of these pixels is a digitized sample. Each one of these is a digitized sample. So you're going to need n bits for each one of these dots. So n is log to the base 2 of L. L is the number of levels, and in this case, it's the number of brightness levels. So that's log 10. We're not going to use the ceiling function, so we're not going to round it to the uh, next highest integer because we're looking at the theoretical limit. We're looking at the theoretical upper limit. So that for, to find the channel capacity, it's not like PCM. We don't find the upper limit. Or we don't um, round to the next highest integer. So how many pixels do we have? We have 300,000 pixels per frame. We have 30 frames per second. So what we want is the data rate. So the data rate, R, is the number of pixels times the number of bits per pixel times 30, because it says there are 30 frames every second. So data rate is the amount of data divided by the time. So that's just one second, because we're looking at per second. So this is your frame rate, 30 frames per second. This is your, n is your bit depth, and 3 times 10 to the power 5, that is the number of um, pixels per image. Now we know that the data rate has to be less than the channel capacity. So the channel capacity, in other words, is greater than or equal to the data rate. And if you calculate the data rate, if you put that into the calculator, that gives you 44.2 times 10 to the power 6 um, bits per second. So we can replace R here with 44.2 times 10 to the power 6. So that's that. So we just rearrange that to find b. So if you just divide 44.2 times 10 to the power 6 divided by log of the signal to noise ratio, the signal to noise ratio we just found is 1000. So I can replace that with 1000. And it will give you something very cl close to 3 megahertz. So that's the necessary bandwidth. 
So in order to be able to transmit 300,000 pixels per frame at 30 frames per second with 10 gray levels or 10 colors, you would require a bandwidth of 3 megahertz. So you can imagine if you wanted to double the number of levels, you would need one extra bit. Or if you wanted to double the number of bits, you would need twice the bandwidth. So that shows you why television requires such a high bandwidth. It's because there's so much data that we're transmitting. So if you're transmitting at 30 frames per second, then depending on how high the resolution is, that i.e. how many pixels you have, and how many colors you're using, that tells you the bit depth, in the end, we're governed by the Shannon-Harley law, and that'll tell us what the bandwidth required um, will be. So in this case, it's 3 megahertz, and that's your final answer.